guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got an old one for you today. I'm thinking about going back to the 90s for a couple of lessons. So we're gonna do uh, When I Come Around, Green Day. Um, it's brought to my attention that I had not done, you know, one of the biggest hits of the 90s, so let's do it. All right, so uh, before we do it, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ring the notification bell so you know when I release a new video. Uh, and um, also, uh, check out my Guitar Academy. It's at guitarlessons365.com. Uh, it contains all my guitar courses. really cool. Uh, for, but for all you guys who just watched me here uh, on YouTube, uh, the ones that have joined the YouTube channel uh, by supporting me every month with a little bit of, uh, I don't know, five bucks here or there, uh, really helps the channel out a lot. It helps me keep this free content coming out to you guys. Uh, so please, if you haven't already, join the channel as well. So let's start here. We are, oh, we tuned down a half step. So we are an E flat tuning. I'll put those notes, if you're not very familiar with tuning down, um, I'll put those notes in descriptions. It's basically tuning every string down a half step. So we got E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B flat, E flat. All right, so hopefully you'll have a tuner that can do that or you can figure it out on your own. So let's start here. We have uh, basically a couple of simple riffs and a simple little solo too. So this should be a pretty quick lesson. All right, so we're going to start here with this G power chord. Now I'm calling it a G power chord, but since we're tuned down to half step, it's actually an F sharp power chord. Don't worry about that. I'll just call it out how you visually see it on the fretboard as a G. So, so it's third fret on the low E, fifth fret on the A, uh, fifth fret on the D. So just hit that a couple of uh, like three down strokes. And then what you're going to do is move up to a D power chord. So we're going to move over to the fifth string. Keep the same shape in your hand. Move up to the fifth fret. So it's fifth fret on the A, seventh fret on the D, and seventh fret on the G. Let's go this. Now what we're going to do is move up to an E minor chord. So it's pretty much the same thing you got already. Just move up two frets, same fingers but then add the eighth fret there with your middle finger on the B string. So that has a different number of hits. It's got a down, up, down, up. And he accents that up stroke where, the, where we've added that note. So it's kind of like you're doing the down, up, down on just kind of these three strings, the, the power chord. And when he hits the up stroke, he adds that eighth fret there on the B. So we have this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this down to a C chord, which a lot of times when he plays it in the song, not every time, it becomes a C major chord. So instead of just a regular bar chord, I mean power chord shape that we've been doing, you actually have to have the, uh, the fifth fret on the B string in there as well. So it's a bar across the fifth fret of the D, G, and the B. With the, uh, obviously the third fret there on the um, A string. So that, go, that comes from that chord. I repeat. Now I like to do the bar with my pinky, but however you feel like doing it's fine. Do it like that. Now, if you don't let that note in there all the time, just regular par chord will work pretty good too. All right, from there, uh, I guess the chorus, uh, we move into just two chords. So that's just an A chord, A power chord, really. Open A string, second fret on the D and the G. So open A string, second fret on the D, second fret on the G. And then it goes to that same C chord. You can do it as a power chord or the full major chord. I think he kind of mixes it up in the song. But this power chord sounds great. And back and forth between those two chords. That wasn't the chorus, that was the pre-chorus, right? Because the verse is the chorus. All right, so let's get to that guitar solo and we are done. Uh, sounds like this. 
Back into that pre-chorus. So what that is is a G major triad here um, up on uh, the uh, the top three strings. So we're going to be playing a, a bar across the first fret and I'm um, sorry, the third fret of the B and the high E string. And then you're going to add the uh, fourth fret there on the G. So what he does first is he picks across those notes. So you just pick, uh, after you're holding these three notes, you're just going to pick the high E, the B, sorry, B, high E, B, G, and then back to that B. So like this. Then we're going to do the same picking pattern, except instead of the um, third fret on the high E, you're going to just reach up and grab the fifth fret with your pinky. So we have this. And from there, he kind of goes back and forth between those. So he's kind of messing with that melody note. And he's not really keeping the picking pattern that strict anymore. So it's kind of like strict at the beginning. Then here, it's kind of like he'll hit single notes, but sometimes he'll kind of hit multiple strings at the same time. So don't worry about it too much there. So it's just that top melody note. You want all the notes to still ring. It's that top line which you want to hear. So And then he goes back and he's just strumming all three strings now. And he just goes back and forth to the fifth fret, back to the third. So all together we have this picking across and kind of sloppy picking and then strumming it. And then you're going to end it with this. And that's going to slide into the ninth fret there on the G string and the eighth fret on the B. So you have those two along with the open high E string. So you're still strumming three strings. And then take it down to the fifth fret on the G and the fifth fret on the B, and still have that high E with there and with them as well. So, it, so, it, so the whole solo is. Slide down the low E string to that three chorus. Now I will say that pre-chorus has a bass line that goes. There's a little you know, the, the note that kind of moves up to that C. Guitar is not doing that though. That's just the bass that you're hearing there. It's just Billy Joe is just doing this. Playing the two chords. He's not doing that little passing note in the middle of it. All right. So hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a monster hit from the uh, '90s. Very easy to play. It's great for beginners and and or anybody really. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for guitarlessons365.com.